Hello everyone, it's time for us to go take a look at the iPhone 15 Pro Max and compare it against the iPhone 14 Pro Max and see which particular iPhone is the better one for you in 2024. Now, the thing I would definitely tell you between both these devices, there's not really a phone that's like terrible or that's like the way better one between both of them. If you have all the money in the world, then please go for something like the iPhone 15 Pro Max. That is the one that's probably going to make a lot more sense for me to recommend to people. It's a beautiful phone, has so much capability, but both these phones are very beautiful and they have a lot of capability. So let's go and see which one's a better one for your use case. If you want to pick either one of these phones up, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both of them, both these panels on both these phones are very, very good and they're almost like the same type of panel if I'm being honest. On the front of the iPhone 14 Pro Max, you're basically getting the 6.7 inch LTPO Super Retina XDR OLED display. It's a 120 hertz panel, 2000 nits of brightness, and it's a very good display. This iPhone was the first one to bring a dynamic island display, it was also the first one to bring an always on display as well. So there was a lot of interesting stuff going on for this particular phone at that time. And I do think if you're going to go through and buy some sort of a phone, this is definitely a very, very solid one when it comes down to it. I mean, the panel is great. There's really not a lot to complain about here for the most part. And I do think if I'm going to go through and buy some sort of a device, this is a very, very solid one. Again, it's not perfect or anything, but it's a good phone. And I like the way the way this, you know, this phone looks for the most part. On the front of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it's basically going to be giving you the same type of experience. So it's going to be giving you the same 6.7 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display. It's a very good panel. I like the way this particular panel looks. And as I said before, there's not really like crazy differences here from the you know front side, but both panels are great. Maybe the 15 Pro Max is a little bit better, but both are very, very good panels. The sides are a little different. On the 14 Pro Max, you're getting this reflective side. The iPhone 15 Pro Max is giving you this like standard type of side that you get on like an iPhone 14. So I'm not really the fan of like, I wish they kind of kept it the same way as before, but I like the reflective material, but I get why they did it, I guess. On the bottom sides, you're getting a lightning port on the 14 Pro Max, but on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, you're getting a USB Type-C port. This in and of itself is another very, very big difference. Because if you're going to go through and get a phone that's going to be giving you that I.O., that's a very, very crazy thing going on for the iPhone 15 Pro Max that you have that type of capability. If I'm going to go through and get some sort of phone, I like the phones that are going to be giving you those types of capabilities of just having that insane I.O. And the iPhone 15 Pro Max is essentially going to be giving you that, which actually is very, very amazing. So this in and of itself is another really cool thing going on for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. On the back sides, you're getting frosted glass backs on both of them. So that's another really cool thing. You can just go ahead and basically just, you know, plug in. You can just have that frosted glass back as you normally would. The camera setups are up there. I do feel, I do feel like the frosted glass backs are a little bit different between both, but regardless, still very, very nice things going on for both these phones when it kind of comes down to it. MagSafe capability, wireless charging. There is a ton of overlap here for sure. And I definitely do like both these phones. There's not one that's necessarily like perfect or anything, but I think the 15 Pro Max kind of wins here for the most part. Now from the price tag standpoint, there's a little bit of a difference here. I would say in the used market, there's about a $100 to $150 difference between the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the 15 Pro Max. So if you're planning on getting one of these iPhones in the used market, you're going to have to keep in mind that the iPhone 15 Pro Max is going to be about $100 to $150 more expensive in the brand new market or in the used market rather than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So just a small thing to keep in mind. It really is not that big of a deal. It's just one of those small things to keep in mind here. So this in and of itself is just one of those things you have to kind of remember with this particular phone. Now, on top of that, with the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the 14 Pro Max, you have the camera setups on the back side. So this is something that's actually very, very nice between them because both of these cameras are so solid. I love both these cameras a lot. And I definitely will tell you if I'm going to go through and buy some sort of a phone, I like the way these cameras hold up because they're just, I mean, they're like some of the best cameras you can actually buy. So number one, with the iPhone 14 Pro Max, triple camera setup with a LiDAR sensor, 48 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel telephoto, 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and then a 12 megapixel wide angle lens on the front. And the iPhone 15 Pro Max has the exact same type of camera setup when it comes down to the megapixel count. There is a, maybe like some small differences and small tweaks between the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the 15 Pro Max. I will tell you though, for a vast majority of things that you're going to do on this particular iPhone, it's going to be roughly around the same thing. You're probably going to be getting almost the same type of experience for the most part between both these devices. And I do think this is a very nice thing going on for both these phones because they are some of the best phones you can actually buy. 
And I do think this in and of itself is a very, very, very cool thing going on for both these devices. And if I'm going to go through and buy some sort of a phone, I like the way that both these phones hold up from that perspective. Like, I really like these devices. And I mean, they definitely get a thumbs up for me without a doubt from that side. So take it as you will. But that is without a doubt, one of my most favorite things going on for this particular iPhone is the fact that it holds up so well from the camera standpoint. I mean, there's not really like big massive differences here. And both of them do a really good job when it comes down to it. So from that perspective, that kind of covers it up here as well. From the software perspective, this might be one of the bigger differences here. Like if you're wanting to go and get a phone that's going to be lasting you or giving you the longer amount of software support, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is probably going to be the one that's going to be giving you that. Like that particular phone is going to be giving you a longer lasting phone in almost every single way. And that is kind of what just ends up happening. Like if you're going to want the longer lasting phone, it's going to have to be the iPhone 15 Pro Max, right? That one is the newer phone that has the newer chipset and everything like that. With the iPhone 14 Pro Max, this is also going to be an iPhone that's going to be supported for many, many years to come. Like this iPhone is not going anywhere anytime soon. And I like that a lot about both of these iPhones, right? These iPhones are going to be some of the longest lasting phones between them. And I think that's a very, very nice thing going on for both these devices when it comes down to it as well. So that in and of itself is another really cool thing going on for both these iPhones. From the performance side, as I mentioned before, this is another very, very cool thing. And which, in my opinion, is another really cool thing going on for both these phones. The iPhone 14 Pro Max, the Apple A16 bonding chip inside of it with 6 gigabytes of RAM. 15 Pro Max, Apple A17 Pro chip inside of it with 8 gigabytes of RAM. So just from the performance side alone, this is another very, very big thing to keep in mind here. Because one, you are getting more RAM and a newer chipset inside of the 15 Pro Max. But even that, I wouldn't say that's the biggest difference of all time. Because both these phones are going to be giving you a very solid experience. And I do think this in and of itself is a very, very nice thing going on for both these devices. As I said before, I like both these phones and I think Apple did a really good job with both these devices when they first came out and they're still a very good, you know, performing phones for the most part too. But clearly I think the 15 Pro Max is going to be the faster one almost every single time. That is the phone that I'm going to look at and probably recommend a majority of people to go and basically buy because that one is the better phone as you probably would have expected. But I think the 14 Pro Max is, if the 15 Pro Max is like a 10 out of 10, the 14 Pro Max is like a 9.5 out of 10. There's like very few differences, you know, in between them when it kind of comes down to it. In terms of the you know, battery life, another big thing, the iPhone 14 Pro Max is going to be giving you a 4,323 mAh battery, battery. The 50 Pro Max is only a 4,441 mAh battery. battery. It is slightly bigger on the 14, on the 15 Pro Max, but you know, still very good phones between both of them. I mean, the battery life isn't really going to be that big of a difference here either, if I'm being honest. So to sum it up, I will definitely say both these phones, I love both these phones. I think both these phones are very, very good. And I don't really think there's a phone here that's like terrible or that's going to be insane. I've always liked the way both these phones have approached and kind of aged up. And I do think for the most part, if I'm going to go and buy a phone, you can't really go wrong with either one. The 15 Pro Max is probably the better one for the majority of people, but I think the 14 Pro Max is still a very, very good phone when it comes down to it as well. So from that perspective, that kind of covers it up there for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.